How can LGBTQ plus individuals improve their sexual health? What is the importance of consent in any sexual encounter? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. LGBTQ plus individuals can improve their sexual health by educating themselves about safe and healthy sexual practices, accessing culturally competent healthcare services free from discrimination, and engaging in consensual and respectful sexual relationships. Consent is crucial in any sexual encounter, as it ensures that all parties involved participate voluntarily and agree to the sexual activities taking place. This promotes a safe, respectful, and satisfying sexual experience for all involved. Influence of Technology on Sexuality Technology has changed how people experience sexuality. Online connected applications and sexual toys are examples of how technology has integrated into modern sexual life. Inspiration in Contemporary Art Contemporary artists have found inspiration in the Kama Sutra to create artworks that explore themes of sexuality, gender, identity, and human pleasure, reflecting its ongoing relevance in contemporary art. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Intimate contact favoring positions. Some women enjoy positions that promote intimate and direct contact with the clitoris, such as missionary with a pillow under the hips or the spooning position, increasing their chances of reaching orgasm. Kama Sutra and Wellness Some practices related to the Kama Sutra, such as Tantra and sexual yoga, have gained popularity as ways to promote physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Kama Sutra in Yoga there are yoga practices inspired by the Kama Sutra, which combine physical postures with breathing techniques and meditation to enhance the connection between the body and sexuality. Key communication. Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood, meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to various laws and regulations worldwide, with some countries imposing restrictions on its production, distribution, and viewing, while others have more lax or permissive laws. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Male anorgasmia, anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Masturbation and mental health. Masturbation can have positive effects on women's mental health by helping reduce anxiety, improve mood, and promote relaxation. Masturbation and self-awareness. Both men and women can learn more about their bodies and sexual responses through masturbation. Self-exploration can help discover which type of stimulation is most effective in achieving orgasm. Masturbation as part of sexuality. Masturbation is a common and healthy way to explore sexuality and provide oneself with pleasure. Although it has often been stigmatized, Masturbation can be a safe and satisfying practice in the context of healthy sexuality. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in the elderly. 
masturbation is not exclusive to young people. Many older women continue to enjoy masturbation as a way to maintain a healthy and satisfying sexual life. Medications and Side Effects Some prescribed medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, and medications for high blood pressure, can have side effects that include erectile dysfunction. Menopause and Sexuality Menopause can impact women's sexuality, causing symptoms like vaginal dryness and changes in sexual desire. Communication with a partner and medical attention can help address these changes. In some Middle Eastern countries, safe and anonymous online spaces and mobile applications are being created to provide sexual education to young people, overcoming cultural and religious barriers related to access to information. Modern Interpretations over time, the Kama Sutra has been subject to modern reinterpretations and adaptations that have made it more accessible and relevant to contemporary audiences, demonstrating its ability to evolve with the times. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This means they can reach climax several times in a short period without the need for a refractory period, which is common in men. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Myths and stereotypes. Open relationships are often surrounded by myths and stereotypes, such as the idea that they are unstable or less meaningful than monogamous relationships, which is not always true. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Germany, sexual education programs are implemented, including visits to sexual and reproductive health clinics for young people to obtain information and services in an accessible and confidential manner. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Non-physical contact. Foreplay. Foreplay doesn't always involve direct physical contact. Women can enjoy more subtle foreplay, such as sending flirty text messages, exchanging seductive looks, or sharing sexual fantasies, which can increase anticipation and desire. In some Nordic countries like Sweden and Norway, sex education is mandatory from an early age, often starting in primary school. It focuses on gender equality, prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, and promotion of healthy relationships. Open communication. Open and honest communication with a partner is crucial for discovering and satisfying each woman's sexual preferences. Discussing what is enjoyed and what is not, as well as trying new positions together, can strengthen the connection and intimacy in the relationship. Orgasm duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to women, men can experience orgasms without ejaculation, an experience known as dry orgasm. This can occur for various reasons, such as practicing semen retention. Orgasmic dysfunction. About 10% to 15% of women may experience difficulties reaching orgasm, known as anorgasmia. This can be due to psychological, physical, or a combination of factors. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.